nine nurses who all work at the baby delivery unit at the same hospital in Maine, they are all expecting their own babies within a few months of each other. CNN's Erica Hill live in Portland, Maine to help me understand a little bit better how this all could happen. Erica. I'm only going to help you understand one part of that, John. This is not a biology lesson this morning, just to be clear. But nine nurses had a pretty simple plan. They just wanted to document the fact that they were all expecting at the same time. They're also really good friends. But take a picture, add a little Facebook, and, well, you probably know the rest. This week, they officially became known as the Nine. I have a friend in Australia who reached out to me and was like, you're famous. <laughs> <laughs> but our manager said that she knows of someone in Poland that's seen it. I've heard it's on an Italian podcast. It's just wild. So like Russia, Germany, Britain, France, Italy, in <laughs> India. <laughs> Done, all kinds we're of we're seeing languages we don't even know. Yeah. We sat down with seven of the nine moms-to-be who are still processing the attention that Britney's photo brought their way. There's probably been a few people who have said to you, is there something in the water here? <laughs> just, just, yeah. 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 Is that getting old? <laughs> <laughs> you still laugh, so that's good. Yeah, that's yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lonnie, I hear reality shows have been calling. Um, what would you think about a reality show for you guys? Um, I'm not sure the world's ready for that. No. Uh, <laughs> Otherwise, my life is really boring, so I'm not sure how exciting it would be. <laughs> how many of you, this is your first baby? So three new moms. Mm -hmm. The rest of you can offer a little advice or not, depending on what they want, right? <laughs> Does anybody know what they're having? Yes. Yeah. Boy. How many boys? How many girls? Are you guys making plans for playgroups after, or you know, arranging marriages? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I mean, I'm one of the only known girls in this group, so she'll have a lot of boys to choose from, <laughs> should she choose boys. Um, <laughs> But we're definitely talking about playgroups. We're definitely talking about getting together when we're actually on maternity leave, going to the beach. The nine make up 10% of the labor and delivery nurses at Maine Medical Center. Their due dates range from April to July, some of the hospital's busiest months for babies. Our manager and our scheduler have been amazing yes. with um, just planning all of the leaves. They've covered all the shifts mm -hmm. that have to be covered for while we're all out, which is really nice. For your patients, it must be interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, Holly, how many of them in the last week or so have actually seen the picture? All of them. <laughs> all of them. Yeah. yeah, all of them have asked either me or one of my colleagues who were working at the same time, like, are you one of the nine? My son sees the articles or pictures and he goes, mama, you're on the phone. My two-year-old actually was rubbing my belly after the, when the first newscast went up. And so that was a special moment saying, you know, mama, that's baby Weston on the TV. That's mama. And so it was just a sweet memory that I think I'll personally kind of just keep really close the whole time. And I think this experience, being pregnant all together, has made us closer. We were all friends before, but it's made us closer. Oh, my gosh, Erica, this is such an incredible story. <laughs> Have doctors at that hospital figured out what's causing these pregnancies? Um, well, they tell <laughs> us, the nurses tell us that they've confirmed it's not something in the water, just to be clear. Mm -hmm. But I do want you to know, we took every precaution, and so none of us drank the water yesterday because I'm done. I don't know about you, but I'm done. I should point out, too, one of the nurses we spoke with actually just finished her shift behind me about 45 minutes ago. These nurses, there are 80 of them in the unit in total, so 10% are expecting. They work 12-hour shifts, two to three hours a day, which, uh, as some of the moms will tell you, is perfect training for those late-night feedings and sleepless nights.